In this illustration, we'll study about projectile in plane of an inclined plane. We are given that the figure shows a fixed wedge block with its inclined surface at an angle 30 degree. And from point A on the inclined surface, a particle is projected at 3 meters per second in the plane of inclined at an angle 60 degree to the line parallel to the space. That means this angle is theta, where we are given that theta is 60 degree. And we are required to find the speed of particle after 2 seconds. Here we can analyze the situation in detail. Here I redraw the figure to understand it better. Say so if this is the inclined plane and uh, this angle is 30 degree. So, on particle g x in vertically downward direction. So, along the incline, the acceleration of this particle would be g sin 30 degree because uh, the normal is having an angle theta which is 30 degree or this can be written as theta 1 because I have taken theta as uh, the angle of projection. So, this g sin 30 and uh, from this point a, if we take this direction as our x axis and uh, along the line of greatest slope on incline, if this direction is y axis and the particle is projected with a speed u at an angle theta. So, it will have two component of velocities u x and u y. Here, uh, our velocity components of a particle at t equal to 0 r, at t equal to 0 we can write velocity in x direction as u cos theta, that will be 3 cos 60 degree, which is 3 by 2 meters per second, that is 1.5 meter per second. And if we calculate the velocity in y direction at t equals to 0, this u sin theta, which is 3 sin 60 degree and that is equals to sin 60, we can write as root 3 by 2. So, this is 3 root 3 by 2 meters per second. And uh, after 2 second, obviously, it will follow projectile motion and follows. And at any point of time, it may be here, here or here in this projectile motion, we can write after t is equals to 2 second. I am least bothered about the location. I know well that uh, in this motion, acceleration in y direction of particle is uh, along negative y side. This is uh, g sin 30 degree that is equals to g by 2. This can be taken as 5 meters per second square, which is with negative sign because it is along minus y axis and acceleration in x direction here is 0. So, here I can write after 2 second, Velocity components of particle r. Here I can write velocity in x direction will remain as u x. This is 1.5 meters per second. And velocity in y direction I can write as u y plus a y t, which can be taken as u y is 3 root 3 by 2 meters per second and a y is minus 5 and time is 2 seconds. So, if you simplify this, it will give you minus 7.42 meters per second. So, we have got the velocity of particle along x and y directions. So, we can write at t equals to 2 second, the speed of particle we are required to find that is equals to root of v x square plus v y square. This is root of 1.5 square plus 7.42 square and on further simplifying, we'll get it as 7.55 meters per second, which is the final answer for this problem.